Good afternoon. My name is Jane Anvik, and our group had a few comments. The first of which is the fiscal gap sounds like something about money and billions of dollars. What it's really about is the services that are provided by the government. It's schools, it's roads, it's troopers, it's a court system. It's making sure that some, there are fish in that river because somebody's monitoring those fish. It's services. It's not $3 billion, however many zeros that is. That is the effect. So it's people and the services that the government provides that we're talking about. How do we pay for the services that we need? What we have is the opportunity to come together here and talk about that. The first act that I think we should do from here is have a citizens group from this group go to the 60 members of the Alaska State Legislature and invite them to please come and work with us on thinking about this problem. The, the, the budget gap is not a problem of the governor. It is not a problem of the legislature. It is a problem of all Alaskans. We need to be working together to be able to do that. And there are 60 people who have a vote about how that's going to work out. And if they had the opportunity to spend a weekend like we have had, there might be some new ideas about how that, that they can work it out. So it's an extension of an invitation from this group to the next group to be able to say, let's work it out together. The other takeaway that our group talked about was the equity questions in this discussion. And that is that we should make sure that the revenue we seek comes from people in a manner that reflects their capacity to pay. We should not be the haves taking the assets of the have-nots to provide for the government services that we all need. Thank you.